tell me a little about yourself. You know, you know what do you what do you want the audience to know about Jaquan Lewis outside of the basketball court? I mean, I'm a big kid. You know, I like to have fun. You know, I have a a very outdoor personality. Like I don't like to be inside. I don't like to be locked in my room 24/7. Like, I get out and do things. Like I like to bowl. You know, I'm from the country, so you know what I'm saying I like to hunt and stuff like that. Do you think that there's a bigger excitement level about the program this year? You know, with the success last year, Will's first year, and now it's just growing and growing. I mean, yeah, everybody's excited because everybody knows what they're capable of doing. Because basketball's back, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah. Everybody got the mojo back. They're not worried about all the changes. It's back to what it was. I know you're probably going to say you feel comfortable right now, but if you had to be totally honest, is there a part in the season when you feel like, you know, I'm up to my form now, I'm up to 100% speed? Uh, every now and then. I try not to jinx myself. I kind of take it day by day, but... Every now and then. Is there a part in your game that you've specifically worked on for this season? Uh, I got up a lot of more shots. You know, just to, I did um, a lot of one-on-one -on -one actions, working on my one-on-one um, -on -one creativity and getting up open shots by myself without using ball screens every now and then. Uh, late clock situations, different ball screen reads, and a lot of defense. We worked on a lot of defense this offseason. The people that are going to watch this are huge VCU fans, huge basketball fans. You say you worked on your shot and you got up a lot of shots. Be more specific with me. Are you jumping more? Are you going for more arc, more flick of the wrist? What are you working on? More reps, looking to score more. Just getting the mentality of scoring the ball. You know, I'm going to have to pick up a lot of scoring this year and just keep it moving. What do you look for Johnny to do this year to help you out, to be a second point guard or a shooting guard with you, even give you a chance to get up some shots? What are you looking for specifically from Johnny? This year. You know, he did a great job of working hard his all season on the shot. So a lot of teams are going to have to respect them more this year so they won't be able to help off and sag into the paint on more or double team whoever's hot. So when he's playing good, he's going to give us a chance to get us open and get good things. What are we going to have to do as a team, VCU, to get Mo the ball in positions where he can score more? Because every year it seems like he gets on a run every few games, all of a sudden he's got 12, 15 points, and then he's quiet for the rest of the game. What can you do and the rest of your teammates? We just, we just got to keep his confidence high. You know, a lot of teams, when he gets going, they try to double team him and take him out. But I feel like once everybody else is hot and playing their role and hitting shots, it's, it's going to be hard for teams to double team him and take him out. So that will take a lot of pressure off his back. And he's an underrated passer. Do you see yourself trying to circle around the, the perimeter, looking for your shot every time he gets the ball? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ever since my freshman year, every time he gets in the post, I relocate just because I know if he knows if some, the double team is coming, he's good at passing. He knows where everybody's going to be at. So Havoc still lives here, obviously, but it's not always a full court press. Sometimes it's a zone, mix it up. What's your favorite thing? What's your favorite type of defense? Is it a full court man? Yeah, I'd rather go full court man. Instead of the zone, the zone, the zone is pretty tough. Yeah, I like the trap, but I like when we're just full court man, just one on one. And you know what I'm saying? You just, it's just take pride. I'm, I'm, I I'm, want to say I'm better than you or whoever I'm going against on defense. And everybody on my team has the same mentality. And so this season, a newcomer on the bench, but not in uniform, Darius Theus. What is that going to be like to have him on the bench? I mean, he's one of the, the program's greatest point guards, and he's going to be right in your ear. Chewing you out, maybe. <laughs> nah, he's a, he's a great mentor. We've, been, we've got up to some good workouts this past off season. And I'm just glad he's here. It's, it's good to ask somebody who's been here and been places you want to go and kind of see what he's done and what I need to do differently to kind of mimic what he do a little bit and trying to add it to my game. Do you watch any network TV? Do you watch HBO, Netflix? Are you into any of the hit series? I don't have time. No. I'm, yeah, I'm in the gym at least three times a day. Yeah. Yeah. How, did you get a chance to watch any of the TBT? Was that cool to watch some of the former players? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, it was pretty cool. I mean, it was actually, I was watching them practice. They practice here almost every other day. And it was just cool watching them all play together. Is that something that you'd want to do in the future? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I love to do that. Awesome, man. Have a good luck this season. Kick ass, dude.